IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 514. We're looking at the production of human insulin in a fermenter. Students should refer to Syllabus Statements and Videos 512, 513A and 513B before continuing. In 513B, we saw how this cell here, this is the bacterial cell, perhaps uh, E. coli, how this cell has been transformed by the addition of recombinant DNA. In the image, the black represents, the black circle represents the plasmid DNA and the yellow dot represents the human DNA and in this instance that is the uh, insulin gene. So a culture of this bacteria, that is a large population, will be injected into the fermenter and it will be necessary to provide this culture nutrient it will be necessary to control the temperature and the pH and also the gases which are in this fermenting chamber and by creating the optimal uh, temperature for bacterial growth we will see this population increase and we will see the bacteria manufacture, switch on the gene for insulin and manufacture the protein insulin. So the bacteria here inside the fermenter will manufacture the insulin protein from the nutrient provided here, amino acids, will be important. And then it will be necessary to remove the product and to carry out purification. There are many processes required to purify the insulin for human consumption, or for human use rather, and this is called downstream processing and the genetically engineered human insulin is called humulin.